Here is a video that was recommended by one of our fellow carpenters in San Francisco who said that they are using horizontal story pulls. And I don't think I've ever used a horizontal story pull, but understand how it can be useful in the same way that a vertical story pull is used to locate the height of a riser or the top of a tread or the top of the stair stringer. And this can be extremely helpful when building stairs. For example, if I need to know the height of a landing, I can just lay out a story pole and then count the number of risers, find that location on the story pole, and then measure the distance. And the same is true with a horizontal story pole. If I need to know the location of the front of a stair step, I can simply position the story pole as needed and do the same when calculating other horizontal measurements like the front of the stair landing or the landing wall. Then I can lay out a horizontal story pole to calculate these measurements. And I'm not about to suggest this can't be done on the floor. And this is where I would normally lay out these measurements. I wouldn't use a horizontal story pole. However, I would if I couldn't put any marks on the floor. For example, if I'm working with a finished floor, something that I can't lay out any marks on, something like this would now become extremely valuable. And another thing that's going to be beneficial is that you might consider laying out all of the individual width of the risers so that you don't get confused. You need to know where the front of the stringer is going to be located and the front of the riser. And if you have a nosing, you're going to need to lay that out also. If there's one thing I can recommend to beginners and advanced stair builders, it would be to lay out all of these components on your story pole so you don't get confused. And once I have all of this laid out, I can go ahead and figure out the position of the landing wall. And now that I have this, I can go ahead and calculate the position of all of the rest of the parts that I'm going to use to build the lower section of the stairway. And as far as the upper section, I can do the same thing. I can take the story pole and start from the front here and then make sure that I'm going to have enough room and then use it to lay out the rest of the steps. And again, I understand a tape measure will do just fine if you can lay everything out on the floor. So a horizontal story pole might not always be needed. But if you do, now you have another tool for your stair building tool chest.